you can see this uh, door is creeping by itself and there is an adjustment here but I can't really get it to work This one is threaded the wrong way. And this one is threaded the right way. So by adjusting this bar here, I will adjust forward reverse. But it does seem to be a bit hard to get it into like a neutral position and this wire it does stick a little bit but it's not that bad so I will try again but running away from me Maybe I did find a sweet spot there. So I will, I will tighten this and then take it for a ride and then I will change the oil. And this uh, whose corner rider it has a uh, a different hydrostatic transmission than most riding lawn mowers have because it's got the this is like a hydrostatic pump this part here and then it connects to a rear axle with a differential so it's, it's like a two-part design and this was quite common um, <clears throat> on big garden tractors and also older lawn tractors with hydrostatic transmission so it's got a it's got a, a hydro gear bdu 10s hydrostatic transmission and then a tough torque rear axle which is just um, like the differential so when i change oil i need to change the oil in this unit as well as the rear axle unit I took it for a ride and as you can see now it's creeping the other way so I think I need to have it like going forward a little little little, little bit and then tighten those nuts because I think it's when I tighten it that it will affect the length of that adjustment. The first uh, oil plug is right here. You can see you got the brake, uh, you got the brake here, and then here is one oil plug. And uh, there's supposed to be one for this unit here. Might be here, but I have to double check that. You can't just take a random. Uh, screw out and hope for the best because that could be a catastrophe 
gonna be here? You know, maybe. This is cast iron, that's good. I actually had the same transmission, but with a different uh, axle on my Stiga, what is it? Stiga Par 12 HST, HST for hydrostatic. And I remembered this because I was like, puzzle, hey, there's no oil in the axle. But then there is a fill some paint on it that's where you fill it so I will um, remove that to let air in I didn't get that Not loose Let's see hope there's oil in there <laughs> all right not much oil in there We are getting some oil from this port here, and it was time to change it, and it seems to be not enough. <laughs> so, I really tried to find information on how to get the oil out of this unit, and you know, I did find my own information from 2016 i think regarding that uh, stiga stiga park 12 hst which has the same kind of setup and apparently the remove oil plug is here so if you have one of these um, units removing the oil is this small plug here for this unit and then the rear axle you remove oil there you fill the oil there Let's see if we can get some focus there so there's where you fill it there's also a venting unit there I'm using this because sometimes you need a little bit of um, like a punch. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, but I just got it out. I hope. Uh, Hope it's not going inside the brake. So if you turn this, you can get the oil out faster. So I have the bypass on, like I would roll it. Then turn the wheel, one of the wheels backwards, hold the other wheel. Oil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oil out, oil out. It's not that bad. I added some oil to that differential and as you can see <laughs> it's uh, coming out so I don't know how long it's been without oil but 
it's not good not good at all this one had plenty of oil in it here's the level for that rear transmission so i will let this uh, drain during the night and then um, put their correct levels in there I did let this drip for a few days and uh, putting everything back together. Let's see if we can have some focus. So I put that bolt back. So now I just need to fill it up until it starts to drip there. So what you hear in the background is uh, my son, he is washing the old Peugeot 205 that we have we are going to convert it into a very slow vehicle which is called a tractor in Swedish which is like a moped car but you can do it yourself so it's a bit uh, bit of a project I think it's full now I was expecting the level to drop, but uh, I guess I'll have to use it a bit. Oh, I'm gonna check the condition of the this drum brake here. I was expecting everything to be in really bad condition, but it actually looks uh, really good. So this is the inside of the drum brake. This rotates. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not now. If you Yeah, you can see. So this rotates with the transmission and then you have these uh, like uh, brake liners they expand. So everything is back together. I activated the brake with the pedal, but it doesn't break that hard. So I will I'll tension this wire a little bit. It was much easier to remove this wheel. Now I had a good clearance to this wire, so I have tightened it a little bit, but not too much. And uh, it seems like it breaks better now. All right, so brake is adjusted. I filled this with oil and uh, the differential is also filled with oil. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll start it and then just run it forward with the wheels off the ground and then reverse with wheels off the ground and then check oil level. If it's good, uh, I'll test drive it.
brakes and hydrostatic transmission works great now. I will use this oil and uh, put in uh, a little bit of a higher quality oil eventually because this uh, was just, you know, everything I had and I didn't want to go away and buy oil. I will keep an eye on that uh, rear differential. I don't know why the oil level was so low and I hope it's not been that way uh, for long because, um, you know, as all transmissions they need oil. So I hope you liked this video, thank you for watching and bye!